Hi, I'm Liz Mears, your associate fitness editor, and I'm here to show you our Do Anywhere toners. They're quick, they're easy, there's very little equipment required, and you can take them anywhere. Okay, the first move, you just need a band. You're going to hold it in either hand and step on it, feet about hip distance apart, slightly wider. You're going to do a biceps curl, then you're going to rotate your palms facing forward. Arms go straight up, and then you're going to go into a squat. Make sure you keep your knees right over your ankles. You don't want to rock too far forward or too far back. You should really be feeling that in your butt there. Straighten up, arms come down, and then you're back to start. Let's try that one more time. Bicep curl, arms face forward, straight up, down into a squat, come up, and return to, to start. You're getting your butt, you're getting your thighs, you're even getting some shoulder and your biceps as well. So you're getting everything in one move. Okay, in this move you're going to take a band and secure it around a doorknob. Take both ends in either hand and then you're going to get a gliding disc. If you don't have a gliding disc, you can use a paper plate. The point here is that you're engaging more muscles as you're sliding instead of just stepping into a move. So let's stand about feet about hip distance apart, holding your band. Slide that leg out into a nice deep lunge, keeping that knee right over your ankle. Slide back up to start. And then you're going to do a row. So squeeze those shoulder blades together and release. Let's go again. Slide back. Slide back in. Row and release. You're, so you're not only getting your butt and your thighs in this one, but you're really working on those sexy back muscles too. This is my favorite inner thigh move. You're going to take your band, step on it, then you're going to wrap the band around your right hand if you want to add a little bit more resistance. If your band's tight already, you can go ahead and just grip the end. I'm going to loop mine. Your left foot is on the gliding disc, left hand on hip, right arm down. Then you're going to slide your leg out into a nice deep side lunge, just like that. Really lean a little bit forward. You should be feeling that in your inner thighs, especially now as you pull back up. So tighten those abs and pull yourself back up to start. Then you're going to raise your right arm and lower, and that's one rep. Let's try again. Slide it out. Tighten those abs. Pull it back in. Lift and lower. Time to work those abs. Sit on the floor, disc under your right foot, left foot stacked on top, bend your elbow and lean on your forearm, just like so. You're going to go into a side plank position. Make sure you keep that hip nice and lifted, hand on hip. Now, engage your abs and you're going to slide your legs towards your chest. Slide back out for one rep. It's time for a really effective ab firmer. You're going to start on all fours, hands right on top of your gliding discs. You're going to engage your abs as you slide out. And as you slide, remember, you don't have to slide that far. You want to go to a point where your back stays flat and you're not arching or tucking, OK? If that's as far as you can go, great. The point is you need to feel it in your abs. So tighten up and slide back to all fours. Let's try to go out a little bit further this time. See if you can do it. Whew! Feels good. Okay, I know you all love a push-up, but I promise this one is extra fun. Discs under each of your feet. Push-up position. You know, you're going to do a push-up. But now you get to slide your feet up towards your hands in a V position. Slide back out, and that's one rep. Push up again, then slide your feet towards your hands, and slide back out. Getting great chest there, arms, and you're really engaging your abs as you pull your feet up towards your hands. Okay, those are your Do Anywhere toners. No excuses. They're easy. They're effective. There's very little equipment. Take them anywhere.
I'm gonna show you some great on-the-go soothers. These are perfect for when you're feeling tight after a trip, whether you're cramped up in the car, on an airplane, they're gonna feel wonderful anywhere. This move is a great chest opener. You're gonna use a tennis ball as a tool. So sit down and lay back on the floor, heels into the ground, Right arm is going to be bent 90 degrees, tennis ball in your left hand. Then you're going to put the ball just above your right breast and try to find a sore spot. You can roll around a little bit until you find one. Once you've got it, you're going to stretch that right arm straight overhead and press the ball into the spot. Roll it slightly side to side if that feels good to you or just hold it there and press. Then you're going to release the pressure and bring your arm back to start. Stretch, press, two seconds, return to start, press, and then return to start. That's a great move for opening up your chest. Another key area that gets tighter your hamstrings, so I'm going to show you how to stretch those out right now. Lay down, left leg extended right leg in towards your chest. Then straighten your leg as much as you can. If your knee doesn't go all the way straight, need to bend it a little, that's okay. The point is you're getting a stretch in your hamstring here. So extend if you can. Then you're gonna pull gently towards yourself for two seconds and then release. Pull gently and then release. Then do the same on the opposite leg. This stretch is great for your hip flexors. Start with your right knee on the ground, your left knee in 90 degrees in front of you, left arm on the inside of your left thigh, right arm up. You're gonna breathe and just reach over towards your left. You should really feel that and come back. You're gonna reach for two seconds each time. So reach for two and release. Reach for two and release. I hope you enjoyed those on-the-go soothers. Remember, they're great for traveling, but you can do them anywhere.